Justin, good to see you, man. How you doing? I'm good. Thanks for having me on, guys. Good to uh, see you guys as well. Yeah, we want to talk about where you're at with your comeback and getting back on the mound, but uh, give us a little snapshot of what life was like as a college baseball player <laughs> at Boston College going back almost 10 years. Um, we were still on the come up. We don't have everything those guys have. We didn't have everything those guys have now. Um, playing on a, a field uses our parking lot for for tailgates in the in the fall wow. um, and a small locker room and we were just a band of brothers that we enjoyed being together and all we wanted to do was win baseball games man and it, it was a lot of fun and I, I would do anything to go back and, and share those memories again all I remember is Peter Gammons tell me about there's a pitcher at Boston College <laughs> Justin Dunn Peter Gammons put you on the map for me man uh, he yeah. was talking you up a lot. Did you spend any time with Peter at all? Did you get to know him? Uh, I met him a couple times, but Peter knew my high school coach from the Cape, Jeff Trundy, really well, and that's, I guess, how he found out about me. Are, um, you, still, so. are you still involved yeah. in the program at all, Justin? Do they bring you back, or do you have a role there? Uh, I went and saw those guys yesterday, actually. Um, mm. Yeah, you know, new coach, T.I., uh, my former coach left, went to Penn, Penn State, so... Um, I hadn't really had a chance to meet T.I. face-to-face and um, only over the phone. So they were practicing yesterday over at Salt River. Went and spent the day with them, hung out with a few pitchers. Um, and then actually T.I.'s family lives out here, and they did like a little barbecue or dinner at his family's house. So I went over there and hung out with the guys over there for a little bit and then be back over to the game tonight. They had they had to be thrilled to see you. A first-round pick out of Boston College, yeah, cold man. weather, That that's like – that's like big stuff for a school like that. I don't know, man. I went back one time in the fall to see him at St. John's, and somebody thought I was a recruit, so I guess it's been a while. <laughs> at least you're looking <laughs> young still then. That's how <laughs> you, you, you got to look at it that way. All right, so let's talk a little bit. Uh, you're going to the game tomorrow. Uh, today, I mean. Yeah. Today's the game at today. 1 o'clock local today, time? Yeah. Yes, sir. So, so you'll be there. Tell us a little bit about the squad. What did you learn? Uh, Cam Leary, lefty bat out of Long Island, where I'm from, can swing it. Um, he, he's got some thump to him. The guy we got on the mound tonight, Westy, he's a good arm, man. He's I don't know what his velo's at right now, but he can sling it, um, sinker slider, and can also run it up at the top of the zone. So I'm excited to see tonight's game. Um, and we have some young freshmen that are going to be pretty good and, and are ready to contribute. Man, you, you gave me way more than I was yeah, expecting. Yeah, he's That's involved, man. man. T tell us where you're at right now getting back on the mound yourself, Justin. How's the shoulder uh, work built? Are you build-up phase? Where are you? Yeah, we're in the build-up phase, um, the initial phase of the throwing program, and, and shoulder's feeling great. Um, it feels like I'm dusting the cobwebs off again, but it's nice to, to throw pain-free and um, finally have this problem behind me. So thank you to Dr. Elitrosh and, and, and his team out in New York for that. Man, Dr. Eltros is a star. Oh, Dr. Altec, Dr. Altec, Dr. Dr. Altec. Altec. I'm so sorry. He's I'm gonna be saying so the name wrong. Yeah, yeah. He's a star, man. So did you do your research on him before, or were other guys already just, you just knew the name, that's where I need to go? Uh, so ironically, when I was with the, the Mets in 17, I strained my subscap, not as bad. Um, and he was the doctor I saw that um, gave me my rehab progression and protocol and everything. And it hadn't bothered me for four years um, to the next time in 21. So I was like, you know what? We're going to go back to the man, let him fix it again, and, and hopefully be done with it. Yeah, what, what did you learn about? Because, man, shoulders are tricky, as we know. And I believe yours was a capsule. Am I right about that? The, the surgery? Yeah, capsule yeah. and then subscap strain. So what did you learn about biomechanics, about the shoulder, about baseball moves during the course of this procedure for you? Oh, man, about, I mean, how much time you got? I can go into a lot of different things. But the biggest one probably just being on time and being efficient with your movements. And, and for me, I think I got a little too big and too bulky compared to where I was in college. And my body is used to being loose and whippy. So this whole thing has been getting back to being loose and whippy and allowing my body to move free and not trying to put too much stress on it. You know, it's interesting. Uh, we hang out with Dr. Leiter here. Al Leiter, I swear he could be a doctor. It seems like you pitchers, when you go through certain things, you guys have all the medical terms down, you figure it out along the way. Would you advise guys that have not been injured to know what you've learned through the process? 
Oh, yeah, 100%. I think if I would have learned this stuff a couple of years ago, I probably would have been able to catch the symptoms a lot earlier, first of all, um, and probably prevent some of this stuff. And, you know, I tell younger guys a lot of the time, um, like a lot of those BC guys yesterday, the, the one thing that I've really learned through this process is the recovery process is so important um, and understanding what works for you, what you need to do for your shoulder and um, really hone in on that program because that's what's going to keep you on the field. And once you find what works, stick to it. Don't change for really anything um, because you, your arm's all you got. So that that's definitely the biggest thing that I've learned through this process and I'm, and I'm grateful for it. Hey, and you've, you've always been a leader and an ambassador. And I, I just saw you in January for the Dream Series out in Arizona. And just your, how, the wisdom you imparted to so many of those kids. We got some video at that time. What does that mean for you to be able to go and be around so many young youngsters like that? Oh, it's everything, man. I, and I think I say it a lot. I was one of those kids a couple of years ago. I mean, it's been a while now, but um, I was one of those kids. And I think to have someone that can come back and, you know, see it and, and, show those kids that they, they can do it you know i remember the first time i met cc in the gym with my trainer I, it was just so surreal to me that it was like okay he's right in front of me i can do this too um and that was me my second year in pro ball so i can only imagine what it would have done for me in high school um so really just to, my presence and wisdom and give people the answers to the tests that i didn't have and help them be further along than me is is really um everything i could ask for all right, how close are we uh, to getting you signed? We need a campaign more. Or how close are we? <laughs> I might need your help, man. I might need your help. All right. I, I don't. I don't know if you want help from a guy who thinks that Al Leiter should be a real doctor. <laughs> that shocked hey. me when you said that, man. Oh, he says all the terms. He knows it all. I'm you could you, you see yourself so. going to Doctor Leiter? Like you got a headache? Hey, Doctor Leiter, what can you no, do for me? No, it'd be a mess. <laughs> I mean, I'd be a mess. <laughs> hey, Justin, we appreciate the visit, man. It's nice to see you. Glad to hear that your rehab is on track, and we look forward to seeing you back on the mound soon. You'll man. be back before you know it. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. I appreciate y'all.